Hi loves, it is Ali Cody here. I am the founder and CEO of Avocado Alley, where we focus on healing through food, through faith, and through a whole lot of fun as well. Today, we are going to talk about anthocyanins. Have you heard of them? We are going to talk about 12, no, 13, a baker's dozen here, 13 reasons that they are beneficial to our health. But first, don't forget, look down below and click that subscribe button. That way you will get my videos when they are in and you go to YouTube, you will see my channel. And if you click the, the bell, then you will be notified every time a new video drops in. All right, let's get right to it. I am going to go to my PowerPoint presentation. I have a weakness for PowerPoint. I love it. And let's go up full from the beginning here. So anthocyanins are amazing. Really one of my favorite nutrients to talk about because this is where eating healthy can be so delicious. Not the only place, but one of them. All right, so anthocyanins are the same phytonutrients that give cherries their rich ruby hue. They're powerful antioxidants and they work to do many things. One of them, is decreasing muscle and arthritic pain. How cool is that? Something natural that we can take, that we can eat to help with that pain. They possess anti-diabetic, anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, anti-microbial, and anti-obesity effects, as well as prevention of cardiovascular diseases. Whoa, so where does that take us? We've got seven health benefits already. Did you catch those? Take a look there really good stuff. And this is all right now, this is all from the U United States National Library of Medicine, National in Institutes of Health. These are all from documented sources. I'm not making this up. In fact, anthocyanins extracted from edible plants are potent pharmaceutical ingredients. Even the, even big pharma knows anthocyanins are so valuable. So they extract them, they put them in a pill, and then they sell them to us for way too much money. But we don't need to do that. We can just eat, eat anthocyanins, right? All right, ah, my scarf's falling. It's cold in Florida. Brr. Anthocyanins play a role in fighting free radical damage. You know what that is, right? Free radical damage or free radicals roaming throughout our bodies are not good. We need to fight them because that can lead to aging. We're gonna age anyway, right? But we don't have to decline as we age. There are many, many other societies outside of the Western world um, and some little pockets in the Western world where they do not experience that decline of aging. So we can help fight that. And it also, uh, the free radicals form disease. Name a disease. It's from the free radicals 90% of the time and we can stop it. All right, so now, now we're at eight health benefits. Anti-diabetic, anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, anti-obesity, helps prevent cardiovascular disease, reduces muscle and joint pain, and anti-aging. What's next? Okay, so beyond their capacity to fight free radicals, oxidative stress, anthocyanins have many other effects when it comes to protecting cells, protecting tissues, protecting vital organs, and these are still being discovered. In fact, research suggests that anthocyanins have positive effects on gut health when they interact with microflora. Microflora, we're gonna talk about next time, so stay tuned. And this can help with decreasing inflammatory markers associated with many chronic illnesses and they also support hormonal imbalance. So how many health benefits are we at now? Hmm. Let's see, 10, 10 of them. We added in gut health and balancing the hormones. I talk to ladies all the time and many of them are concerned with balancing the hormones and all of these things as well. Um, hormonal imbalance comes up a lot, so this is where we wanna look. Now I'm combining information um, from the Medicine um, National Institutes of Health and Dr. Axe as well. All documented stuff. There's more. We're not done, right? I said a baker's dozen. 
They can also protect against neurological disorders like Alzheimer's disease, dementia. They can protect against poor cognitive function. They can improve our cognitive function, improve our memory, improve our concentration ability, our focus. They can give us more energy and can speed up our recovery after we exercise or exert ourselves physically. They also help in vision loss. Are we there? Yeah, we're there. That's our baker's dozen. And this is just what's documented. There's probably much, much more. How cool is that? Now, do you wanna talk about what foods you can eat to get the anthocyanins instead of popping a pill? Let's talk about that. All right, anthocyanins, um, there's actually different types of anthocyanins and you can tell that something has a different type of anthocyanin because each anthocyanin nutrient produces a different pigment, a different color. So this is where you see like the reds, the purples, um, even some of the blacks, you know, bluish black and the blackberries. Um, so we've got berries, we've got eggplant, red and purple grapes, purple sweet potatoes, anything with that dark rich hue, purple and black carrots all have anthocyanins. Red cabbage, blue corn. There are some edible flowers and herbs that also have anthocyanins like purple mint, purple passion flower, purple sage, common violet and lavender. Blood oranges filled with anth anthocyanins as are cherries. Certain types of apples, you get in the picture, right? Yeah, the deeper the pigmentation you know of, it's got those anthocyanins. Red onions. Red onions are like gold, baby. So many benefits, including the benefits from the anthocyanins. Black plums, pomegranate. And as I just mentioned, so yeah, the type, I got ahead of myself. The type of anthocyanin a fruit or veggie contains is partially what determines what color it's going to be. So I always say eat a rainbow of colors because you know you're going to get a variety of different nutrients. Now, let's talk about this, because the first thing that always comes up is, oh, well, can I just have this supplement? Why, why, why do people, I'm gonna get my soapbox here, why are people so determined to just pop the pill? We wanna avoid things manufactured and planned. Okay, but I am gonna humor you for a moment. Um, Overall, there's still a lot to learn about supplementing with anthocyanins. I will tell you, we only get 30% of the benefit of any single nutrient when we get it extracted in the form of a pill. We're gonna get the full benefit when we have that whole food because then those anthocyanins are in there with all the other nutrients of that food the way that God intended it to help heal our body. We don't wanna take it out of its natural environment. It's there for a reason. It's there so we benefit more. But that being said, one review of 10 studies involving the use of anthocyanin supplements did find that the supplementation significantly improved LDL cholesterol among diseased individuals or those with elevated biomarkers. However, supplementing did not significantly affect other markers of cardiovascular disease and no adverse effects of anthocyanins were reported, taking up to 640 milligrams a day. So back up a second, what did I just tell you? We only get 30% of the benefit when we pop a pill. When we extract it, we pop a pill. Then we do from having your nutrient, whatever it is, including the anthocyanins, in that real whole food as God intended. So can you imagine, if we have a study here on this supplement, how much more benefit we get from actually eating the foods. And the number one best source for anthocyanins, fresh, sweet cherries, also called nature's candy. Mm, love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, they're not always in season. So the second best would be frozen sweet cherries. Also an economical choice because you buy a big old bag and store it for a while. I go through them like crazy because I put them in my shake now every morning and um, it really sweetens it up in a healthy way. 
I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I hope you have a happy Friday. And you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, YouTube. And you can look below in the description and find a link to my Facebook group and my, my website as well. And if you want to book a call and, and see what my programs are all about, you can do that. Or you just keep enjoying the YouTube videos and piece it all together. Love you guys. Bye.